30 Days of Gaming. Name a game that is underrated. I'll give you my recommendation and why in this video. I apologize for the quality of the video. Um, I had some difficulty recording Overlord. Uh, I'm really not uh, terribly well set up right now at this moment for uh, recording gameplay, and I really wasn't sure if I was going to do much of that. Um, just having some fun with this, and so um, I, I will fix um, if the people like what I'm doing. I will improve the way I'm uh, recording. I've got some parts on order and uh, uh, for other reasons to to improve my system but uh, the quality of the video following is uh, not the greatest but it just shows some of the fun things about uh, the game overlord okay so this is this is overlord it's a uh, uh, most overconfident master let, let's first off, let's kill, let's beat up the chest. Keeper of the ruined tower. So we, we so we, we can beat up the chest, but well, uh, this is uh, one of the quests to go out and get this. I was unemployed and was spending all my time testing, for a testing, job. one, two, and is I needed to work? find something. I, after a while, I was just going a little bit insane. Can and you I hear me, master? Something oh, to uh, give me a little bit of break. And now, sire, and the creatures around here uh, are rather frisky. Overlords. Which was a lot of fun. The area. So, now then, so now then, I've got uh, a series of minions, minions and, and I can stick my minions on the sheep. Free. And the minions will kill the sheep, which is always a lot of fun. And they bring me the life oh, essence. And uh, so then you... Keep sticking your minions on a variety of things that kill them all. And then you stick them on the shield. This is a, one of the places where you're, you're really not... Uh, this is the start of the game, but it gives you an idea of the sense of humor in the game. And one of the reasons that I found the game... When I say the game, I thought the game was undervalued. Was because I don't... Or underrated because I only paid two dollars for it. And two dollars for a game like this was just so amazing to me that I could I could have so much fun um, with this game. That it, it was uh, like, is the game perfect? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. There are a lot of limitations to the game. Um, it's very linear in the, the way it plays, and um, so. Uh, and sometimes there are some issues with the camera, as you can see, playing through this. Uh, really never crashed too much. I don't remember crashing. I had uh, some issues with, uh, with my uh, graphics card at one point in time. Um, but, this, but it was, uh, yeah, you can summon your memes and they'll do what you, basically if you want to uh, do things. So, here we coming back to the halfling farm that uh, I recorded and then uh, destroyed, and so they you can send your minions into places that you can't go, and then uh, you know and you, it's a, it's a good idea to always have your minions destroy everything they can because occasionally they will find uh, new and interesting things which helps equip them a bit. Like for example, you can't go there. Uh, it doesn't let you, but your minions can, and your minions can go a lot of places. 
that you can't go and you see them pick up you know shiny things that are that are great and then they will uh, come back sometimes better equipped sometimes worse equipped uh, you know you can see some of them wearing pumpkin heads right uh, uh, and so you send them all through the joke of and uh, we wander, wander around uh, most of the time your combat is done by your minion not by you you don't really want to get into combat because you could die, and uh, that's not what you want. I mean, you want uh, the minions to. Uh, okay, so let's summon them. Sometimes they get lost and everything. You can call them back. So I need 10 minions to, to move something so you can move it. I just got recently the ability to control. As you go through the game, you can control more and more minions in your. Halflings approaching, more. get ready! Okay. Hang on, those ain't halflings. Look at the one with the helmet. <laughs> Could be so, two halflings holding up some armor. <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet that's it. I don't trust those sneaky little wasp names. Mm, maybe you're right. Here, prove you ain't halflings and free our men from the camps down the road. So, if you are, stay right there so I can get my aim straight. Now that Lord. There, in the field, greedy little halflings. Use your fireball spell on the wheat and roast them like suckling pigs. Okay, now I can't remember how to cast a little spell. Or to cast a spell. So, okay, I'm using. Ah, oh, there we go. We use the fireball spell to roast them. Roast them halflings on the half on the half shell. So we kill all the halflings. Uh, oh, then we send, we gotta send our minions in to get the collector life. Yeah. And it's a bit of the bring you the treasure and you know, various things like that. So you find the uh, halflings. So. Oh, we have more halflings to do. Come on, where are we? There we go. Oh yeah. No halflings. Choose them. Killing innocents, <laughs> and I use the term loosely, increases your corruption level. <laughs> so you, you go through here. This attracts and it was, more uh... evil energy, which increases your powers. However, this is rarely suitable for establishing a long term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. So we gather up all this stuff and keep going through and you keep uh, you need to send your minions into destroy and gather up things and uh, you don't want to kill too many different of the people but it's uh, you know it's always fun and you get the gold so you accumulate gold well, it's a lot of fun this too. must be the work camp those peasants spoke of be careful lord so what happens is it, you know so this is this is a, it really is a lot of fun. It's got a great sense of humor going through and, uh, you know, you send, you send them over and picking up things, your minions to go and uh, get back. It's sort of bizarre seeing what all the, the minions can uh, you know, find and what all, all the, the odd sense of humor throughout this game. But it's, um, you know, since you're seeing the halflings attacking and doing this things. This is an arcane blood pit, sire. You can sacrifice minions here to regain your own health. See, I'm down Have a little no bit fear. of health. Your minions will gladly die for you. They're very loyal. <laughs> so you can send your minions. So I can go like one of the So what happens is that... Uh, Oh, then we come here. So this, it's time to. It says I got 13. I'm 
accumulated 13 minions so I can lock on and I can... So I'm, I'm back up to my max of 10, which I'm probably going to need as I head over to, um, to attack. So there we go. Oh, get that noise. Primitives. So, there's my minions attacking. They're bringing me, let's see, see there's no two trying to form on the inside. Okay. So they, they keep going, you know, you keep going on, they uh, destroy all these evil halflings. Well, good halflings, or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, maybe you're seeing a few. I hear the oh, bleating of lesser creatures, my lord. Sending your minions. They're not very bright. So oh, do you. everything uh, uh, that you tell them. Um, so what happens is that and you have lots of somewhat simple puzzles. To do. Send up the minions to Make sure you take a full set of minions with you. Halflings might be short. But they're tough. Yeah, so we come back. And that's the take a recommend that you have a full complement of half life since we've lost some. So we come back over here and we refill our That's a There we go. So now I've got all my uh they're off. So they find other things to uh, a mana pit! Ah. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in years. So, they allow you to sacrifice your so minions. So you've got, uh, up in the upper left, you see that mana. there's the, the red is the health and the blue is the mana. So you, you know, a mana pit will, you can sacrifice minions into the, the mana pit. So you, uh, you know, you can pick up all your minions to you and then you can, uh, Anyway, I need mean, to pick a, uh, you pick a minion. Yes, master. So anyway, it's but it's a it's a lot of fun to go through here and uh, you know you get all your minions, you come back down. This is uh, down here was where there was one of the puzzles, not puzzles. Well, that's a, not the best way to describe it. It's the task that you need that your minions for, and every one of them is rated at a certain level. And they will show up. There we go. Come over here. Look, sire, a wheel. Your minions can turn these, and well, you never know what might happen. <laughs> I love the voice out there. It was, it was very evil. So they did that. So that opened up the. the you know, that this is a good place to to sort of uh, stop for right now. So what we'll do is we'll exit. We'll um, exit the game. But th uh, I truly enjoyed Overlord, and the, probably the best two dollars worth of game that I ever spent. It's worth more than that. I think it's a little bit. It's five dollars now on Steam when I checked it today. But they had a special, and it was like two or two fifty, and it was 
uh, great. It just uh, it at the time in my life when I needed something to 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 cheer me up, this was this was a great game. So like I said this is the most uh, one of the most underrated games I've seen because it was the price per value was so high. So that's, 